I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. It's fantastic being plastic. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I need help. Barbie has infiltrated me and I have been Barbieified. Everywhere I look at the moment, there is Barbie this and Barbie that. And honestly, I cannot wait to watch the film either because plastic is fantastic. But all of this Barbie talk has got me thinking, could I try and recreate a Barbie dream house in AC and H? Well, I'm gonna try and give it a go today because as Barbie famously said in the Nutcracker, anything is possible. Who knew Barbie had such wise words? Anyway, let's get on with the video. So to create our Barbie dream house, I'm gonna head over to Happy Home Paradise and I'm obviously gonna choose one of the pinkest villagers there are, Cookie. Cookie is so cute, she'll be a perfect fit. I could see her as like a Barbie pet, maybe, perhaps. And to match the pinkest villager, I had to pick the pinkest plot as well, so I went for this one. And Cookie seemed to approve, so that's good. So when I'm doing these Happy Home Paradise builds, I of course like to do the outside first, and then I do like to change the home first. Now I decided to go for like the babyish pink, it's not quite that hot Barbie pink, but unfortunately Animal Crossing doesn't really have that. There is the purpley pink one, but I just didn't feel that it quite worked right, and I added in the welcome home little door thing as well because I just thought that was very cutesy, very pink. I don't really have any specific Barbie house that I'm going to try and model this off but there is so many different dream houses that I'm going to try and incorporate kind of all the different kind of aspects of them and I did have a... I, I feel like I had a little mini dream house. It was like a suitcase thing and it opened up and it was cute and I remember having it. I remember buying it second hand when I was a child and I was like yeah this is like the best thing since sliced bread when really it was just like a plastic <laughs> little container with some stickers on but it was amazing at the time because your barbie could actually live somewhere and you could pretend and it was great and i would steal my brother's ken dolls i don't think he ever really had any interest in having like no it wasn't ken dolls it was action man figures yeah so i would steal them and then pretend that they were the ken <laughs> <laughs> as well. It worked well, I think, hopefully anyway. I wonder what happened to that. It probably got chucked into some form of landfill. But anyway, on a on a brighter note, this is what we're doing. I'm thinking one of the kind of key things from most Barbie dream houses is to have like a car out front. Normally I feel like these are convertibles because you know Barbie has to have the wind blowing in her hair as she drives along. Um or like is pushed along I don't know <laughs> I guess she doesn't do much driving but yeah this is how it's coming together so I thought I have the driveway to the left of the house and then we're just gonna fill it in with all of these codes these are all of the codes from my vintage kid court island if you're wondering that will be coming soon I will finish it eventually and then you'll be able to see a full tour of that which I'm so glad that I had all of these codes because they do kind of work quite well for this <laughs> for this build definitely and the pinks, maybe they aren't so bright as they could have been because of um, the vintage aspect that I was trying to get with this, with this island, but they kind of work and hopefully they work well as well. Um, I know Barbie probably has a lot more grass out front, but I just think that it looks better aesthetically. We want it to look aesthetic as well as Barbie-ish, so that's what we're going for. The pool is another thing that I frequently see. There's like um, dream houses with lots of pools out front, and often they have slides as well into the pool, which is gonna be hard to recreate in Animal Crossing, but I will try, I will try flower beds these are just my own personal admission I love flowers so we've got to have a few of them and these I just feel like it needed a bit of height between the house and the actual kind of drop down so I thought that worked quite well and I do have some pink steps which I'm going to add in there there we go that looks that looks semi presentable we'll go with that um, and then I'm just going to look for some a few more items which I feel could work I'm not really sure which way to go I really am just winging this 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 can be our little water slide. Now, I wish we could give it some more height. I could have just put two behind it, but most of the water slides that I see are like snaking into, not snaking, yeah, snaking, like going around in a twirly circle thing. So <laughs> what are they called? What are twirly circles called? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that kind of works. It kind of adds a little bit of 
interest, maybe? If I could have put it on a table or something, then it could have worked and we could have given it more hype, but you can't do that, and so it is what it is. And then a lot of the Barbie um, outsides, like the exterior of the yards, they also have like sun lounges so Barbie can get her tan. It's, it's clearly, it's not fake tan, guys. Barbie definitely gets her own, her own sun to get that tan, so we'll put these in. Obviously, Barbie is responsible and she wears sun cream so that she doesn't get burnt. Factor 50, Barbie. Um, so there it is. And then why not let's just add a fancy drink. I feel like there was little... The best thing about Barbies was always the little plastic shoes, which this is probably really gross and I'm going to regret saying this on the internet, but they were very chewable. <laughs> they had that squidgy kind of plastic that was always like really, really nice. And I don't know, I just really enjoyed them. Anyway, um, we're gonna add in some flowers around the edges as well, just to make it a bit more prettier and feel a bit more put together. I don't want too much fencing, so we're gonna go with pink flowers. Obviously pink. As much pink as we can get in here. Um, apart from the car, I was very disappointed that there isn't a pink car. I know I could have gone with the like smaller mini car, but this is Barbie. She needs her best car for her best plastic life. So there we go. That is looking kind of put together now. I don't think that there's much else that I really want to add. Maybe some cherry blossoms just to keep in with the whole kind of pink cherry blossom area so we'll go with that and then some lights as well so that she can see her way home after her dates with Ken and then here is what the finished product looked like I feel like it definitely feels a little bit Barbie-ish maybe hopefully um, we will do the interior as well uh, we'll come to that just shortly but yeah this is the outside it's definitely not the hot pink that most of them are but I've tried to add in aspects of it so hopefully that comes across and hopefully you see that so welcome to the inside we are going to make this so pink it's literally going to look like jigglypuff threw up in here it's going to be pink and adorable hopefully fingers crossed let's see what happens um but i was going to do the upstairs as well but now we're going to do this do the downstairs because it dawned on me i don't want to include the items that cookie has so we're just going to chuck them upstairs and leave them be um but i uh, kind of doing like a barbie dream bedroom come closet would have been cute but we're gonna do a kitchen open dining area type thing i really wanted to use these cupcake shelves because in the film i watched margot robbie's house tour of the dream tour and they have like all the decals stuck up so they're like 2d and it looked amazing and i thought that that would be similar but it just didn't really work so i tried it didn't kind of happen the way i wanted to if you haven't watched that dream house tour i definitely recommend it. it is so cool the way that things are like 2d and then they like come alive and oh my god the effort that they've gone to for that whole set is just amazing and i cannot wait to see it all but yeah back to our kitchen it's looking a little bit pink um we have the soppy sink which i know barbie is not going to be all about dishes and having them just like strewn around there everywhere um but it's it was the best sink that i could use so yeah the dishes are cute at least they they look adorable they have cute colors on them <laughs> that's the only justification that i could give for them really and then i thought the system kitchen would be a nice addition as well so that you can get the like the kitchen island and have your breakfast at the the bar and stuff that's kind of cool and then to try and get more pink in we were going to add in the rugs i changed the room size for this room about three times um which caused a lot of like moving things around a little bit here and there it kind of works it, the rugs it just looked <laughs> this shape definitely just look very long and thing which isn't always a good thing so we're going to change that around a little bit i tried using some of the partitions i don't have the full array of the different color partitions on this one so um i didn't use the actual partitions unfortunately but yeah this is what the best size that i could come up with and i think this kind of worked i wasn't really feeling this because it just kind of cut off the whole other areas so it just looked a bit strange as much as i wanted it to work it just wasn't really so i used the shelving in the corner just so that we can 
get some different kind of kitchen elements in there and the plant partition either side just to add in a bit of like um, greenery even though I fully imagine that these greeneries are made of plastic because everything is made of plastic <laughs> so everything in this house even though it looks like wood walls and it looks like comfy rugs no that is plastic I assure you um, so I did manage to get the espresso machine in which I am surprised that they decided not to do this in pink because that would have been a great addition having like a pink section to match the scales because there's pink scales right I should know that I tried to find a cool looking clock that wasn't just something that was pink and heart shaped so I decided to use this one I kind of love the pastel colors in it a little bit of kid core maybe but yeah it's coming together it kind of looks like a cute kitchen now a little bit um so I also added Gala's pink picture in because why not Gala is very pink like cookie honestly I nearly did Gala instead of cookie which would have been adorable too and I think that her happy in paradise thing is actually probably a better fit anyway we've got cookie I adore her still in this corner I wanted to do like a breakfast nook which I thought would be nice I'm going back to my ways of like my cottage core dreams of trying to use the the round tablecloth table <laughs> but I'm like is this really more Barbie is there not a better Barbie option and I think that there probably is um, I just wanted to use this one because it is one of my go-to but I do find a good alternative soon don't worry I almost forgot how good the Sanrio stuff is for this sort of build because it is just like pink the particular one I can't remember which one is is Kiki and Lala I think it is actually that is like the perfect Barbie set if there was gonna be a Barbie set of furniture it would look kind of similar to this again I do realize that I'm using a much more kind of muted color pink palette but there isn't much like really hot pink apart from like the swan ring there isn't much I did try to add, a, add in a disco ball <laughs> which I wish worked better than it just didn't work quite right and maybe I could have just left it and be done with it but this one kind of matched a bit better and honestly maybe the kind of the all the pink wood is maybe that's a bit more like 1970s Barbie as opposed to like 1980s Barbie which would definitely had a like a sparkly disco ball because why not she would love love a sparkly disco ball with her leg warmers and stuff um so yes i did add in a gumball machine because why not every kid would have dreamed of putting a gumball machine or a sweet machine in their kitchen so that they could have like their own little thing i actually do remember as a child getting like i feel like we had like they gave or they sold like fake little gumball machines that you could have um very jealous of the people that had them and then just to keep it a bit more barbie-esque why not add in an outfit in your kitchen so that you can have breakfast in your pajamas, get changed, and then off you go. Yes, more Barbie shoes, more chewable Barbie shoes needed to be added. And then over here, we're gonna have the television area. Again, a little bit disappointed that I don't have all the plant partitions in like a pink and white color, but we're gonna have to make our, the most of it. Imagine that these were probably like stickers stuck to the wall because I feel like that would be a better way to do this if you were actually looking at your Barbie house or like your dream house in real life and it was full of plastic then this would probably be stuck on with stickers and I'm not mad about that. It does look a little bit 3D but this is Animal Crossing. This is how it works. I could have done it with, um, <laughs> with glow stickers. Imagine the artistry that would need to go into that to make like full on stickers from Barbie show. I should have also maybe saved like a little logo for Barbie, but oh well, it is what it is. This is like realistic Barbie without having loads of Barbie stickers everywhere. Um, so yeah, there we go. And then these, because why not? Why not add some dangly shape things? It's totally acceptable in a Barbie world. This I tried to add, it wasn't working because I, for some reason in my head I thought it could go behind the bunnies. It obviously can't go behind the bunnies but oh well. The wall was looking a little bit bare so why not add some more plastic, <laughs> plastic plants as you do. And one of the things that is hot pink in this game, this is more Barbie pink I think. This is like ultimate Barbie 
kind of color is the rug here and the sofa kind of has that bit of Barbie hot pink as well so we added that in and then I think it may be just a little bit of an end table so that we can get some more detail in here um I love a bit of clutter and I think that wall is very very cluttered <laughs> so I'm feeling that I am feeling that for sure and then honestly I'm really not sure what to do like with the other corner um I definitely think we need some more artwork this I know is more of a kitchen artwork but I feel like that was definitely something that you would find in a Barbie dream home I feel like what we're gonna do is have like a game of Barbie <laughs> I don't know if that exists maybe that does exist nowadays definitely wasn't around when I was a child mainly because there wasn't really a big gaming community but now I can just add in like a gaming chair I'm sure there is a twitch streamer Barbie if there isn't there should be that would be a great idea Mattel hit me up I will take commission <laughs> for that idea and here is the kind of ending as to what it looked like I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video with me and building this dream house let me know your thoughts what would you do for a Barbie dream house would you pick a specific Barbie and decorate all around them I've just kind of gone for like a a mixture of everything but either way have a great rest of your day let me know if you're going to be watching the film this was definitely not an ad this was not an ad this was just my pure love of barbie at the moment so <laughs> there we go have a great rest of your day guys don't forget to like and comment below and i shall see you again soon Bye bye oh ken